This is a story about BGSU guard Antoine Lillard from East Cleveland, and now on scholarship and on a path to graduate from college. Home? Uh, my school, actually. We could just stay there. I used to stay there all the time. Stay there, it's about 8 p.m. Just get shots up after practice. We used to have our meals after school. We used to eat after school, and that was just my home. I lived there. Well, Antoine grew up in a really rough part of Cleveland, and uh, you know it's not the uh, ideal place to grow up in as far as there's a lot of crime, a lot of drugs, and uh, you know he was able to, you know his mother did a very good job of sending him to Cleveland Central Catholic, and he was able to get out of that situation, and now he's here and he's doing wonderful for him. Around Cleveland, it's, it's, it's kind of rough growing up, you know, just, you know, just walking around, walking around the city, you know, looking around, you just gotta watch your back wherever you are. Sad it gotta be like that, but that's how it is back home growing up, so. But when I came out here, it was just a positive environment, you know, a lot of smiles and a lot of people just happy just to be alive. Around Cleveland, it's just a lot of mean mugs, and you know, you looking at people like, "What is wrong with you? Like, he's having a bad day." It's like, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. So it was pretty different. I was really impressed with him, with his interaction with his teammates, and then the more I got to know him, I just you can't meet a better kid. It's just so genuine and such a really, really good guy. It's just made it really easy to recruit him. Antoine and his mother have a great relationship. He, he plays for his mother. You know, he wants to graduate college for his mother. He wants, he wants to make life easier for his mother. Happiest I've seen him is when he speaks of his mother. And whenever he talks about his mother, it like, he lights up. Like you can see that's the, that's the pride of, of his world. You know, it's like he does everything for his mother. Everything goes back to her. Everything he talk about, his fight, his being here, uh, everything is for his mother, to help his mother. She's, she's so happy for me and she's proud. You know, by me being the first out of all in our family to go to college and to play basketball and have a scholarship, she's, she's, she's happy. She actually cried, you know, because uh, honestly, you know, my mom wasn't gonna have money to pay for my scholarship, you know, to pay for me to go to class and all that. So, you know, it was a, it was a blessing. And what you love about him is that he was popular amongst everybody, um, you know, so the people who didn't have a lot of friends, um, people who had friends, the teachers, um, kids who didn't play basketball or sports at all, everybody was pulling for him, you know, to be successful and, and move on. I mean, he's going to walk across the podium and graduate, so that's not a... That's not negotiable. <laughs> a success for Antoine for me is graduation. That's a success. He will be the first in his family to graduate from college. I'll probably go up there and give him the biggest hug ever. <laughs> Just because, uh, but really I would like to meet the person, you know, that's giving us uh, that scholarship, you know, because that's a blessing, you know, that's a, that's, that, that'll change someone's life. You know, obviously it changed my life and where I come from. So, you know, to, to meet that person, that'd be pretty good. That'd be nice. Uh, together for us is, is everlasting. It's not something that ends here in four years with basketball. It's something that goes the rest of your life. Together on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.